Rev up your engines. Today I'm gonna to answer a question I get all the time from people. Is it bad for my car's engine if someone put too much oil inside it? Well, not having enough oil in your car obviously is a bad thing if you don't have enough. Metal parts that get oil lubrication will now be dry if there's not enough oil and then metal will rub on metal and goodbye engine. A lot of people might think, hey, more oil in the engine? Hey, that's a good thing. But no, in reality, too much oil is also a bad thing. Way overfilled, I'm not talking about half a quart or something. I'm talking about somebody who put a quart, two, three quarts, too much oil in so that it's way over the full mark. And if that's done and left in the engine for long periods of time, it can actually be just as bad as not having enough oil in. With way too much oil, then your spinning crankshaft inside the engine, it's spinning really fast, it can start hitting the oil in the bottom of the pan. Normally it isn't that high, but if it's too high, it'll start hitting oil that's in the bottom of the pan and smashing into it, especially at higher RPMs. This hitting of the oil and coming out of the oil and hitting it again can create bubbles in the oil. When you're spinning, say, three, four, five thousand 5,000 RPMs, you can create an awful lot of bubbles that way, and that creates foaming inside the engine oil, which is a really bad thing because oil pumps inside the engine they spin around and they're made to pump liquid oil. They pump it from the bottom of the engine up to the top to lubricate the camshafts as they spin around. And if you've got a bunch of foamy oil, the pump is made to pump a liquid. Foam has a lot of air in it. It will not pump it correctly. And if it doesn't pump it correctly, guess what? Parts won't get oil that are supposed to, especially in overhead cam engines. The top of the cam won't get lubrication. It'll be starved of oil and you can ruin an engine that way. You don't want that pump pumping anything but liquids. So you don't want to have so much oil, it starts whacking into it and foaming the oil. Now the next reason is related to that. An engine has a certain amount of space inside. If you add extra oil, it's gonna take up space that normally didn't have oil in it. It's gonna build up pressure. Bad thing. That can start blowing the seals out of the engine, which is, you might think, oh, big deal, you know? The crank seal cost $8, yes. But to change that crank seal, you either have to pull the engine out of the car or take the transmission off the engine. And in many designs, you gotta pull the engine and transmission as a unit because the way they're designed, take them apart on the ground, replace the seals and put it in. That can cost you thousands of dollars. You don't want seals blowing out because there's too much pressure because it's full of too much oil. And another reason is even more serious. If you have way too much oil, you can get oil seeping past everything and it can actually hydro lock the pistons. Realize that going into your engine is a combination of air that can be compressed quite a bit without doing any damage and gasoline vapors that can also be compressed. But oil now, it doesn't compress that much. It can only compress a tiny bit. So if you get a bunch of oil, when the pistons go up, you can't compress that oil, it can actually bend the piston rod or break the head you get a lot of pressure in there when those valves are closed all that pressure does is build up and since the piston is connected to the piston rod is connected to the crankshaft the piston always has to go up the same exact distance back down again and back up and if it's going up and that stuff is blocked by oil it has to keep pushing while it keeps pushing either the head can get damaged or more often the piston rod itself, it'll get bent. It'll be going up and down the wrong distance, start making knocking noises. You don't want this kind of stuff to happen to your engine because somebody put too much oil in it. Now, modern gasoline engines are pretty well designed. They've got a little bit of extra space in them. If you got half a quart of oil too much in most engines, that isn't gonna hurt anything at all. But don't put a quart, two, three quarts or more extra oil in, because it can do all those damages really expensive stuff that a simple check can fix it. Just check your oil level. Now some modern cars are real squirrely. This is the old one, it's on the full line. And we'll wipe it off. You can see the full is an F. This is about a quart of oil here. If it's under here, it's, it's more than a quart down. So when it comes to your oil dipstick, you want to understand where the readings are. Some of the modern ones, hey, they're made out of plastic crap. <laughs> they have knobs and little twirls. And since they're made out of plastic, a lot of times they actually break. And if that happens to you, heed this warning. I had a customer who had that happen. They just went to an auto parts store and got a dipstick they thought was the right one. It was the wrong one. And they went by the dipstick. 
they put way too much oil in and the engine hydro locked and broke it was destroyed go to the dealer and get the actual one if yours is broken and of course the best thing to do is to find out how much oil your car takes with an oil and filter change then if you do it yourself and you put the oil in you put the right amount if it says 5.4 quarts you put 5.4 quarts in now let's say there's too much oil in all you got to do is get a clean drain pan and just take the drain cock off empty it out pour the right amount back in <laughs> you don't want to waste it if it's just been changed and some fool put too much oil in it or if you're mechanically inclined like me and you have a vacuum pump like I have you just stick it in your oil dipstick hole it feeds right in and then you can just suck it right out of the engine and then just remember when you do check your oil you want to check it on a flat level surface when the engine is cold. My father ran a gas station, but after he retired, I, one time he called me up and said, oh, I think my Toyota's burning oil. He said he checked it and it was on the quart low line on the bottom. Where did you check it? He said, oh, here in our condo here. I said, I've been to those condos. It's hilly around there. <laughs> I said, will you park it on a flat surface like in a Walmart or something? And he did, and of course it was totally full in. So you got to make sure you check it on a level surface. And really, it's a good idea to check it cold because oil does expand somewhat as it heats up. So if you check it when it's ice cold, that's the perfect reading after it sat for a while where it all got to drain just to the right level so you know you're getting a true reading and not a false one. So now you know the truth about having too much oil in your engine. But what you can easily do about it yourself before something serious goes wrong. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.